Welcome to day three of our yoga video challenge. Today's topic and video prompt is to make a tips video. Tips on something regarding yoga practice. So who is your audience? What do they need and what is their problem? Here's a big tip for you. Think about what your audience whines and complains about and then create tips based on their complaints and how they can solve that problem. And the best thing you could do as well is to create a number, three tips, two tips, the number one tip, five mistakes, 10, not 10, 10 is too many, five or less, five or less mistakes, myths, myth, misconceptions, tips, um, steps. What else could you call them? Anything to solving that whiny problem that they have in regards to yoga or your style of yoga. So you can go into YouTube search engine and even search, what are people searching for? Can yoga help with, and dot, dot, dot. Will yoga help with? Can yoga cure my dot, dot, dot? What are they asking? What do people need to know? I love going into YouTube and just typing in like uh, the beginning of a prompt and just seeing what pops up. For example, when you type in yoga versus, the main thing that pops up is yoga versus Pilates. And because it's popular, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't make that kind of video. In fact, it means that you probably should because people are looking for that. And the more you make similar content and more and more, the more people will find you if that's your goal. So today we're making a tips video. It can be you just talking, again, eye contact on the camera, smile before you hit record and get the lighting in front of you. Not perfect, we're just going to do it. We're gonna do it good enough and then press on. One of my uh, yoga, not yoga, actually marketing supervisors, one of my supervisors, one of my old bosses used to say that all the time. We would get a project and it was like just taking too long and she would say, Gepo, Gepo. And it means good enough, press on. So that's what we're gonna do. Make this video on some tips, two tips, three tips, myths, misconceptions, steps. I like tips just because it gives you an easy prompt. Three tips to Straight off, <laughs> hamstring flexibility. Three tips to sit or for better posture. Um, three steps, three tips to breathing better. <laughs> There's so many things you could do, but scale it way, way back. You might want to do three tips or five steps, three or five, whatever steps to starting a yoga practice. And then, I mean, yeah, that's, that's actually okay and fine, but you could get really specific here too. Like three tips for learning to breathe through your nose instead of your mouth. I don't know. Three tips for putting your hair up the best way to practice yoga. <laughs> three ways to put your hair up when you practice yoga. I have that problem. How, how do I even do my hair when I do yoga and without getting my face all the time? It's kind of annoying. A YouTube video might help. Remember that YouTube is the second largest search engine out there next to Google. And when you Google, because YouTube is owned by Google, YouTube videos show up. So if someone has an issue, has a whiny problem, they're gonna look it up on Google, on YouTube. Now more than ever, your video can get out there and seen and help someone. Remember that goal. I just wanna help one person. And if I can save one person's life, everything will be worth it. At least that's what I tell myself. So if me getting out there and being awkward on camera is going to help one person, that's okay. My fear of other people's opinions, people that I don't know, they can just go away because they don't matter. They really don't matter. But the person watching and saying, yeah, that really helped. That's what's gonna drive you forward. That's what's gonna drive me forward. And that's why I keep creating videos like this is so that we can get out and you know, fill the world, the internet world, with a bunch of yoga videos and positivity. So tips video. Hey, I'm Ashley from Ash's Yoga. Today I'm going to share with you 
Four tips on productivity as a yoga studio owner with a closed studio. <laughs> okay? Number one, work during nap time. Number two, <laughs> I might say them all like the three tips right away and then go into depth on them. So I'll say, here's the three tips, boom, boom, boom. Let's talk about the first one. Talk about the first one, talk about the second one, talk about the third, do a quick recap. Here were those three. <laughs> make sure you hit the subscribe button and go learn more over on my website, ashesyoga.com. Simple. Not always easy. So it is good to create an outline. I will have that for you. Create an outline with, you know, your title, your introduction. I'm going to say three tips, but you can go ahead and make that more or less. Three tips. You say them quick first. You do a breakdown of each one, recap it like bookends, and then have your call to action. Got it? So come up with some fun video ideas. You can do this for more than one thing. You can definitely make tons of tips videos. In fact, if you want to, you could make, you know, 20 of them and then post them once a week. Once a week is the YouTube upload go to number. So if you want to be consistent, it's pick a time in a day that's consistent. You can even schedule when your videos go public. Pick a time and day so people start to gain that trust factor with you. They trust that you're going to be putting out a video every Monday at nine o'clock. They're gonna see that video every Monday at nine o'clock and be able to click on it and know that next Monday you have another video with tips or yoga classes or whatever it is, um, another video. Um, so let's make a tips video. Go get on that. Again, it can be on your phone. We set your phone somewhere so it doesn't wiggle so much. Uh, upload it to YouTube, go post the list, the link on Listed Republic over in the Facebook group so that we can celebrate your third, third video that you posted in this challenge. <laughs>